Hello everyone, welcome to Lobo Jodoku and today we are in the second week of December and we're going to take a look at new figures up for reserve and tomorrow we're going to take a look at new figures that were released during this week and some race talks but for now let's take a look at what's new up for reserve and we're starting off of course with Nandroids because Nandroids are taking over the industry uh, we're starting off with Sakura Kagamiara from Yuru Camp $48 September 2022 release and moving on we got some weird stuff it's acrylic frames stands for Nandroid so things that you can put your Nandroid in and it will look nice and, and cool uh, we're starting off with the birthday one for coming out February $7 then we got this cool one with the look of a uh, Instagram post uh, from that is the good smile company logo same release date same pricing then we got the acrylic frame stand Oshi Ga Totoi <laughs> this like a love symbols uh, same release date same pricing then we got this weird magical girls weapon plastic model uh, $32 coming out January and it's basically model kit uh, um, weapons that you put together for your 112 scale figures Actually, it was very interesting if you have a bunch of uh, figures that you want weapons for, I guess. Uh, it should be, be widely compatible with any uh, line with 112, like Figma, SH Figure Arts, Muffins, uh, whatever uh, you can think of that is that scale, or at least close to that scale. Uh, speaking of accessories, we got a bunch of little armory. Uh, tools and accessories coming out. Literal Army, if you don't know, are uh, some figures that are high school girls with weapons. <laughs> and we got a bunch of stuff from Literal Armory coming out. We got, first of all, this uh, desk accessories with keyboards, with uh, so many stuff that you can put if you are into putting like a set for your figures. That This is fantastic. It's bland color, so you can paint it if you want, or you can leave it like that. But I would paint them uh, if I would get something like this. $21 April 2022. Uh, and then we got this other one, Field Desk A2, uh, $25 April again. And this time is more like, yeah, it's definitely if you're uh, like a, in the our army and you have this uh, tent. So a, a feeling more uh, on field work then we got a bunch of weapons yes just weapons uh, this one is coming out March 13 and a half dollars the RO6 uh, 635 so really detailed guns uh, really detailed mechanisms on the guns it looks fantastic and put them uh, reloading can put them working the weapon so all of them look fantastic moving on we have all of them I think are releasing the same month and at the same price so I'm going to be speaking a little bit quicker this one is the Star AR-13 um, and moving it very quickly looking at the gun all of that detail fantastic uh, then we got the M4 SOP Mod 2 and again very detailed then we got M16A1 again same uh, this now this, this one is actually released in January instead of February like the other ones $13 and a half again this one also releasing January $13 and a half it is the M4A1 we all know M4 for a lot of video games uh, since you got uh, anything new then we got ourselves I think this is the last one yes coming out April it's twelve dollars one. The only one with a different price. And this is like a more old school type of weapon from like World War something. At uh, least that's where I remember this type of weapons from. Uh, it's not as modern as the other ones. Then moving on, got a new announcement for Super Figure Action Judge of Star Adventure Part Three, and it's all horse. This is not a re-release. This is a new release coming out June 2022. $63. dollars. Um, you can see that a lot of articulations are different, are new in relation to the classic JoJo figures that we are used to. Uh, 
so they did some improvement, especially in, in these uh, arm joints. Hopefully that will be better articulation and <laughs> less weirdness in some poses. Um, then we got a new Figma announcement from Demon Slayer Kemitsu no Yaba, and it is Figma Kyujuru Rengoku. Uh, Eighty-six dollars and a half coming out to September 2022. Now it's a bit expensive, but I do think it justifies because it does bring a lot of accessories. We have uh, three faces. We have the closed arms. We have the sword. We have the food. <laughs> We have a bunch of effect parts. All of these, of course, makes it look like a DX edition, even, even though they are not calling it that. But I think that brings the price up a little bit. Speaking of Kimitsu no Yaba, we got some Nendroids from Kimitsu no Yaba, but these are not articulated Nendroids. Um, they are a little bit cheaper because they don't move. Uh, but I decided to put them here anyway because it is Nendroid still. Um, Nendroid Sawachao, they're calling it that. And we have Tanjiro Kamado coming out August 2022, $25. We got uh, Nezuko Kamado coming out August 2022, $25. We got Zenitsu Agatsuma uh, coming out August 2022, $25. We got uh, Inazuka Ashibira coming out also August 2022, $25. And then we got like from a show that I, show, I don't know if, it, if it's a show, if it is a video game, that is Fenki Lo Yang, and the character is Bailey Hong Yu, and it's coming out September 2022, uh, $52. Uh, so I have no idea what this is. It's an android, and we got another character from the same show, video game, whatever. Uh, Fifty-two dollars coming September 2022, and it's Oo I'm butchering these names completely, uh, but yeah, whatever this is, it's coming. And finally, we have another Figma from Demon Slayer game. It's on the Japanese Figma Akaza. Uh, coming out September 2022, $79. Uh, this one, they don't have a lot of good images to see what it brings with. Uh, you can see that it has at least three different faces, uh, as like this effect part for being below him. But I would say it will not bring a lot more than that. A uh, bunch of hands, of course. Uh, but the detail of the character itself looks fantastic. and It's definitely a good compliment for the other character. Uh, that's it for the reserves, stay tuned, uh, tomorrow we're going to look at new figures and some restocks, and I'll see you guys next time.